when I opened the jar of this gel by Savilland, I thought it's extremely thick. It definitely will not be comfortable to work with. But as I finished the set, I realized that this is one of the easiest products to apply. And in this video, I will show you all the details. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Let's open up the new package from Savilland. Box is colorful as usual, and we have six glitter colored gels here. Let's open it up. The jar is small, only 6 grams, and it is protective with metallic seal, which is quite a challenge to open up. Ooh, look at this shine and on the consistency. It is like extremely thick, probably one of the thickest gels I've ever seen. Actually, thick and glitter gel is definitely something rare. I don't really remember when I seen something like this, right? Usually thick gel have like solid colors. Each gel is based on the clear gel by itself, but it includes different glitter and accessories which have different colors. And some of them, I mean some of the accessories, are going to glow in the dark. I think my favorite colors will be blue and pink. Actually, green is also very nice. When I was doing the swatch, first I thought, well, it's not gonna be the easiest product to apply, but later I changed my mind. This is what the colors look like all together, and this is when we turn the lights off. Every single color glows in a different way, and only some of the particles. Sometimes there was uh, stars or butterflies or dots. And this is my right hand, which definitely needs a makeover for now, so this is also gonna be video doing my non-dominant hand. First, I need to file out the old product, which is gel polish. I did the set really quick, by the way, I think like within 30 or 40 minutes, because I was in the rush. This was my last day to leave to the US, so I had to apply something on my nails, because, you know, when you're used to extensions and overlays, it just doesn't feel comfortable to have naked nails. After product removal, I'm going to do dry manicure. Always start with a flame bead, red abrasive mark. Speed is around 14,000 rotations per minute. When I'm working with my non-dominant hand, I use a slightly slower speed so I can focus more on work and not hurt myself. There are some certain days when I feel so lazy and working with my non-dominant hand is just so stressful. I actually have a few videos on my channel about it, but for some reason this time it was quite easy. I mean, I literally enjoyed the process. Then I'm going to file the free edge to make my nails as short as possible because I do not want my free edge to be seen on the other side. I will be using regular forms, so for forms it is better to file it short, especially the corners, so we will be able to pinch the nails. However, for some people who have shorter nail beds, sometimes it will make sense to leave a little bit of the free edge so it will be easier to fit the form. This is what my hand looks like after dry manicure. Let's do extensions. I fit the form, apply dehydrator and non-acid primer. Since this is my right hand and I use it a lot, I will be doing shorter length, this time an almond shape. I applied base coat, cure it for 30 seconds, and then I do the gel application. I will start with the base. I recommend you to use clear product when you're starting any kind of design at all times. Doesn't matter whether it's hard gel, poly gel, or acrylic. 
Apply a clear product first and it will be so much easier to change the colors when doing fills, plus you will have a better adhesion. Cure in LED for 30 seconds, let's do the design. We'll start with the color called Lemon. Luckily, this kit includes six colors and I'm going to use five of them. Well, unfortunately, I have only five fingers. It was quite a challenge to pick this gel up because it's so thick, I had to use my other hand to help me pick it up. And when I applied it on the nail, I realized that it is not running anywhere. But another challenge may be, okay, it's not running, but how are you going to apply it and self-level? So as you start moving it around the nail with a brush, plus your body gives a little bit of heat, and for a few moments the consistency is more like medium and it gets so much easier to apply. However, some accessories are rather large and it's still not possible to make the surface like super smooth and even, just because we have large particles of glitter there. That's why I'm going to encapsulate the design. I took off the form, then I apply a little bit of clear gel. I simply look at the areas where the product is missing and fill them in. I was worried that it will be too much of a challenge for my left non-dominant hand, but actually it wasn't, it all came out pretty easy, and also I was worried that the jar itself, it's so small, I was like, will it be even enough to do a whole set? But the thing is, you don't really need too much of the product, the glitter looks so great, you just need a little bit. Let's proceed and I would like to use more colors. Dehydrator, non-acid primer and the base coat. By the way, it is better to apply it on all five nails at once, but I do one by one because when I record, I always smudge something, I always accidentally touch something, sometimes I need to take a break, that's why I do it like this, but it takes more time this way. Application is very similar to the previous nail, I build the clear base first, also make sure that you have some clear product on the nail, and then I'm going to use this color, I just love the blue. Take a look how thick it is once again, you just release it from the brush, and I just realized that when you're working with your non-dominant hand, which means you will be working slower than usual, it's actually quite a benefit that the product is thick. So I'm definitely going to use it a lot, I think it will look great with some jelly colors on top as well as the glitter by itself. Even if you accidentally touch the skin or the sidewall, it's super easy to clean it, you just take an orange wood stick and clean it and it will stay there. The product is so thick that you can technically build the apex out of it, which I did because the nails I'm doing are rather short. But for longer nails, I will not recommend wasting that much product because the glitter is so intense anyways, and you can finish the sculpting by encapsulating it with clear. By the way, once you encapsulate it with hard gel, it creates some kind of a lens and the glitter shines even better. That's why I love using hard gel for this kind of glitter and encapsulation designs. I think this product has the best clarity, the best transparency, and all the designs look like an actual glass. Then we cure for one minute in LED. Application is finished. Each nail has a different color. My favorite one will be blue. Which one is yours? And let's do some filing and shaping. Unfortunately, with my left hand, I'm unable to do an application that will not require filing, so I will need to do that. Do not forget to take off the sticky layer, and then I'm going to shape the nails. This time I will have short almond nails. This gel is super easy to file and shape, that's why 180 grit file is more than enough. Done! Are you ready for the most satisfying top coat application ever? when you have to reveal all the glitter and the shine. Cure in LED for 30 seconds and we're done with the glitter nails. They look like a fun summer nails, but also they will look nice in the evening time once we turn the lights off. Every single nail has a different glow. Let me guys know what do you think, which color did you like the most? The link to the product as well as my discount code, do not forget to use it to get 20% off, will be in the description box as usual. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel because I noticed that the majority of views are from non-subscribers. It would mean the world to me. See you in my next video. Goodbye.